Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Microsoft account login issue with Hello Infinite game on your computer. Now the first step is to log out from Microsoft Store and Xbox app. So open Xbox app and then click on your profile icon, then click on sign out. Now open Microsoft Store. On the top right here, you can see a profile icon, click on it, then select your account, then click on sign out. And once you are logged out, you can go ahead and try to launch the game from Xbox app, Microsoft Store or Steam. Just click on play. Now it will be asking you to select your account and then you can go ahead and enter the pin or password and then log in. Now in case if you don't want to use the listed account, you can go ahead and click on use a different account, select Microsoft account, then click on continue and then enter the email and password and that should go ahead and fix the problem. Now if you are unable to type in at the rate over here on the login screen so when you write your email address over here so if you are unable to put at the rate in that case you can go ahead and write the email on notepad and then you can go ahead and copy it and then paste it on the login screen and then you can go ahead and click on next and then you can go ahead and enter the password you can write the password in notepad and you can paste it or you can simply write the password over here then click on sign in that should go ahead and fix the problem. Now still you are unable to type in the email address then on the bottom right here you can see your language over here. So click on the language over here and select English United States and you should be able to put at the rate in the email. Now if you don't see English United States over here in that case you can go to start menu and then click on settings. Now click on time and language. Now click on language. Now over here you can see if you see English United States over here you can go ahead and drag it to the top. If you don't see English United States over here click on add a language and then you can go ahead and type in English over here and then scroll down and you should be able to see English United States. In my case it's grayed out. In my case it's already installed. Select English United States and then click on next install it and once this is added over here you can go ahead and drag it to the top. So simply you have to go ahead and drag it to the top so i now it's united kingdom but i want united states to be on the top you can drag it to the top and then you can go ahead and launch the game and then you should be able to type at the rate now if you're logged in with wrong microsoft account and if you want to switch to another microsoft account and you're unable to do so then go to the game now if you are on this screen then press the escape key on the keyboard now on this screen again press the escape key on the keyboard and on the bottom left here you can see the sign out option so click on sign out and then click on ok. Now you can go ahead and again log in. So you will see the login screen now so click on sign in. Now again enter your email the right email and the password and then log into a different account. Now still you are facing the problem. Then in that case you can go ahead and delete this XBL login credential. Now this is happening with Steam users. So you can go ahead and type in credential manager in Windows search box and then click on credential manager. Now go to Windows credentials and then scroll down and in this list at the end you will find XBL device key or XBL GRTS device key. So if you find any one of them that's not a problem. In my case it's two. In your case it might be XBL GRTS device key or simply XBL device key. So you have to go ahead and expand it and then click on remove. Yes. And then again scroll down. So it's not necessary that you will have two entry. In my case it's two entry. So expand XBL device key then click on remove. Remove. And now you can go ahead and restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can go ahead and try to launch the game from Steam. So let me go ahead and launch the game from Steam. So click on play. Now, once you remove the XBL credential, once you launch the game from Steam, you should be able to see the sign in option. So click on sign in. Now, if it's taking any username over here and, and if you don't want this you can go ahead and click on sign in with different account if this is what you want you can go ahead and click on let's go 
or you can go ahead and click on sign in with different account over here. And then you can go ahead and enter your new Microsoft account, the account which you want to use. So you can go ahead and enter the email over here. And then enter the password. And then click on sign in. And that should go ahead and help you to log in with different account. Now, in case if you're facing trouble with Microsoft account, you can go ahead and click on sign in options on the bottom. And if you have a GitHub account, you can go ahead and use that or else you can use another Microsoft account to log in. Now the next step is for Steam users to use this in launch option. So you can go ahead and type in dash no cache. So go to Hello Infinite, make a right click on the game, select properties in the launch option. You can go ahead and type in this that is dash no cache and then you can go ahead and try to launch the game. If that does not resolve the problem, you can go ahead and delete Steam Web Cache for this. Go to Steam, click on Steam Settings, go to Web Browser and then click on Delete Web Browser Cache, OK. Then click on Delete All Browser Cookies, then click on OK. Now try to launch the game. Now the next step is to open email and accounts. So for this, go to the Start menu, then click on Settings and then go to Accounts, then click on Email Accounts. Now select your account and then you can go ahead and select the option which says apps needs to ask me to use this account and then try to launch the game. Still you're facing the problem. This time you can go ahead and select Microsoft apps can sign me in if you think that this is the right account and still you're facing the problem. In that case, you can go ahead and remove. But before you remove, you can go ahead and read this. So if you agree, you can go ahead and remove it and then try to launch the game and then you can go ahead and log into your Microsoft account. So one of the steps should definitely help you to log into the game successfully. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.